Testing, testing. Can everyone hear me clearly? No, it's just 16, 17, 20. Yeah, I see. Hi, right, can everyone hear me clearly? Just testing, making sure that our audio is working nicely. Hey, hey, Muhai, Muhai Zam, right? Muhai Zam, nice to see you, right? Um, oh, wow, uh, nice bunch of people tuning in, right? Uh, today's session is going to be very fun, right? Uh, Marby, nice to see you too, right? Uh, see a couple of very familiar names over here, right? Guys, when you're sending messages, right, in the chat, you can actually have a drop down and send it to everyone, right? So, um, so each of us can see the questions come through, right? Um, yeah, who's... um. If you don't mind me asking, right, um, where are you guys tuning in from? Ro Rohan, nice to see you again. Right, which country are you guys tuning in from? Right, uh, there's bonus. I guess as a bonus, if you can guess which country we are tuning in, uh, we are hosting this webinar from. <laughs> All right. Okay, good stuff. Oh, we got, we got Marby uh, tuning in from Dubai. Yeah, I'm in Singapore. <laughs> how do you know I'm in Singapore? I don't, I don't know how you know I'm from Singapore. Right. Okay. We got we got Tangonan from Philippines. We got uh Gabara from Le Lebanon. Right. Um Sinokmal from South Africa, Malaysia, South Africa, Nigeria, Cyprus. Nice, good stuff. Oh, Malaysia, right? A couple of people from Malaysia, right? That's our neighbors, <laughs> right beside Singapore. Um, oh, fan of us for uh Take New Traders Club. Yes, Take New Traders Club. I'll be showing you guys what it is about. Oh, you guys were from Malaysia. Right, you live very close. Next time I'm going to JB, I'll tell you guys. All right, <laughs> you can maybe meet up over there. Okay, Raman from Bangladesh. All right, good stuff. Good stuff. All right, thank you for tuning in for today's uh, session. Right, it's uh, gonna be a fun time. Right, um, I'll be showing, I'll be sharing with you who are who's our new presenter for today. You'll be hearing a lot more from here, uh, from her, not only in the webinars but also in the Tickmill Traders Club. Before we begin further, guys, remember everything this webinar is educational in, uh, in nature. Nothing should be construed as investment or trading advice. So please do your own little due diligence before you guys trade. Okay. Now, what is the Think New Traders Club? Right, guys, I... give me a second. What is the Think New Traders Club? Just want to show you this link over here on thickmill.com. Right. Um, you just have to send a button. You can... Okay, Herbert. Uh, okay, I am not sure if you're allowed to show that, Herbert. <laughs> so I got I to delete that first. Uh, thank you for sharing it, everyone. But um, uh, usually for the links that we share over here, it needs to be approved by compliance and stuff. So yeah, just uh, um, especially when it involves Telegram bots and stuff like that. So uh, don't mind me yet to remove that message, but thanks for sharing it. Right, I'll, I will personally, I, I took the link down, so I'll personally check it out later. Okay, guys, if you are on TickMill, if you're a TickMill client, right, what you want to do is you want to go to client tools, right? There's this thing down here called TickMill Traders Club. Right, you click on it. It's a nice place over here where you get to, uh, as long as you're taking me client with a live and funded account, I believe we have the pro this promotion on currently. It might change uh, to requiring, requiring you to have a bigger deposit. So um, if you have not, please jump on it, right? Um, otherwise, you know, um, in this promotional stage, you know, you'll be able to get access as long as you have a live and funded account, right? Um, in the Take Me Traders Club, the important thing is that you get to talk to me, you get to talk to Peggy, you get to talk with the other analysts around, and you get to ask us questions uh, on technical analysis, right? You get to see our forecast. I think um, we have a couple of trades that hit take profit already, right? Um, Peggy will be sharing with you in a minute, right? And of course, right, um, this is a place where you can just talk with um, fellow traders, okay? Now, um, you can see this is roughly how it looks like. It's very fun. You have the charts on the left. And you got the chat on the right. So, you know, you're chatting and you're looking at the markets move in real time together. Uh, it's very fun. Um, you see me inside, you see Patrick, you see James. And of course, you'll be seeing the rest of my team, right? Um, you'll be Keaton, uh, Keaton, right? Be Peggy and a couple more of us, all right? All you need to do is to click on this, sign up to Take New Traders Club. I'm going to copy this link and send it to you guys, right? You can, if you don't have an account yet, just go sign up. Right, follow the instructions. Right, if you have a live account, use the same account that you have registered with your TickMill account. All right, once, uh, once uh, the support team has checked it, they will give you access. 
All right, this is how it looks like inside the Tick New Traders Club when you come in here. Okay, it's nice of you guys who react with the emojis over here, right? But once you come inside, we have a normal place just for chit chat, right? Just for trading ideas. And we also have a place where we share um, about the news every single day, right? Like key news events to look, look out for. What you want to take a look at, right, is definitely, right, the charts over here. So for example, right, um, for example, we're looking at Euro dollar right now, okay? And if you have a question on Euro dollar, right, you might come in here and might draw this line, right? You have this trend line and you say, hey, uh, hey Desmond, right? Is this a valid trend line? Now, which trend line are you referring to? You just need to highlight the text that you've written. Click on this button called link object to text and select any object that you just drew on the chart. So in this case, I'm going to click on here, right? And you can see the trend line. I send my message through. So what happens is that if I'm reading this message for the first time, I can see that someone, you know, someone has clearly had mentioned me, right? Um, okay, this is my account, so I can't mention myself, right? But this, someone has mentioned, hey, Desmond, is this a valid trend line? When I hover my mouse over the trend line, you can see it lights up on the chart directly, right? So this gives a lot of context to the discussions that you have. Whether it's a trend line, whether it's support and resistance, whether it's a Fibonacci, whether it's a harmonic, whether it's a chart pattern, if you have any questions, you can just ask it, right? I find it's good, right? Of course, we usually leave a reaction, right? And we have a discussion. So I'll have a dedicated discussion area with you. I say, yeah, it looks nice. And we could see a bounce from here. From here. What is the bounce I'm referring to? You know, you could see a bounce from here. to recent swing high resistance. Which recent swing high resistance am I referring to? I highlight, link it to the text that I just drew. So you know exactly what I'm referring to when I send a message, all right? So this is how it looks like in the uh, Tick Mill Traders Club. It's a place where you can ask us questions. You know, we can help you. We can guide you to be better traders, right? Um, so as long as you have a live Tick Mill account, take advantage of this current promotion that you have, right? I do believe there's no minimum account, minimum funding required. But once we roll out the new um, Tick Mill Traders Club, right, we're going to have quite a number of funding requirements, right? So please join when you have the chance. Now, I'm going to pass on the time over to Peggy Soon. Right. Um, a quick introduction to her. She's the newest member of Everest Fortune Group, right? So we work very closely with Tickmill um, in uh, providing you guys, you know, trading guidance, education, and teach you guys how to trade. All right. So she's part of the team here who are finalists for the best FX and best equity research, right? 2019, 2020, 2021. And she herself has passed quite a number of prop trader tests, right? You might be familiar with a couple of it. Right, and so she has her own approach to trading, right? Which I think uh, she'll be sharing with you in the live trading sessions probably next week, right? Um, but what I want to encourage you guys to do is take the chance to ask her the questions, right? Don't wait until the end of the webinar to ask questions. Anytime you have any questions that arise, we literally have another screen open here, right? Monitoring the questions that you're sending through. Feel free to ask her, right? She teaches things very differently from me, right? Um, she's qualified enough to answer you guys and give you guys a guidance and her own interpretation on support and resistance and especially on the currency on the instrument which she um she focuses or rather she uh she specializes in which is gold okay now i'm gonna hand over the time to peggy now peggy have fun uh today's session guys go easy on her it's the first time I'm seeing her all right so have fun yeah hi <clears throat> i cannot see myself can i remove it too? I can remove yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so the registration can move it probably about here. Yeah, the questions yeah, come yeah. to here. Yeah, the questions will come here. Mm -hmm. Right. This, this is the part where you can see yourself. Mm. Then and if you want to go on trading view. One, click the next one. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm. Right. So trading view is over mm. here. Okay. I'll just connect it back. Mm. Okay. Where's my there you go. Yeah. Hello, everyone. Good morning. Good afternoon. Where Wherever you are, how you guys doing? All right. So today, uh, my first time on a tick mail. So be nice to me, okay? To all the webinar, can you please analyze? Analysis go. Yes. Uh, if you are uh on the uh, um, we are on the 
Atlantic Mail Club. Yeah, I think I, I did send the analyst on, on, the, on the club, right? It's already hitting our TP. <clears throat> okay. Okay, so today um agenda, I just want to talk about um swing high and swing low. And then you know uh, how you're gonna find pullback, support and resistance, and then com combining with um Fibonacci. Okay. So you want me to do <laughs> webinar first or you want me to show you guys on um go analysis? So up to you guys. But I can show you guys later. Okay. Okay, so um, how are you going to find swing high and swing low? Okay. So here on the chart, you can see that, okay, this is a sweet, uh, significant swing high and swing low, right? And you can see there is so many swing high and swing low. This is not significant that you can find, right? So we just want to... Okay, I will show you. <clears throat> For example, if you look at the charge, which is just now they're showing, right? You like not every swing high, swing low like this is gonna be significant. So you just look for those like very, very sub uh, significant one, which is, if I look here, this is gonna be one, here, 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 and then here. And this is the one, okay? And um, <clears throat> in the trading, uh, Tickmill Trader Cup, I did send this um, anal analysis to to you guys. And then we already hit the um, take profit. Okay. So this is uh, one of the pullback support. So how is your pullback support? First, okay, you find. Okay, I'm gonna remove this, okay? So at least you guys have the clear pictures. Okay, and this trade already um, hit our taking profit, okay? Okay, so first you see that this is um, due to be our resistance and then it broke and then it's, we wait for the pullback, right? Here. Okay, we wait for the pullback and then when you see that, Okay, the pipe is just bow off from our support. You can draw FIBO. Okay, always um, draw FIBO energy from left to the right. Okay, and then you can see that it's light up very, very nicely with 50%. Okay, you can see from here. This is in H4. If you want to um, see it really clearly, you can go to H1. Okay, so this trade um in our trading trader club we already hit our TP. Okay, so in the um trading club, I draw FIBO from here. I think I send the analysis. Um, TP is about twenty three point six. Okay, so I think our TP is our, around this level. Okay, it's already hit our TP. So this is called pullback support. <clears throat> um, excuse me, how to join the training cup? I think that's one already tell you guys, right? You just go to um, the uh, Mail Trader Club over here. Okay, and after that, you just like open the account. If you have the account already, you just uh, join, I think free. Yeah, you just send in and then there will be somebody to uh, check, check in some information and then they will let you in the club. Okay, so the club is something like that, like this. Like just now, <clears throat> I send the um the analysis like this. Okay, and you see here, it's already hitting our TP. Okay, so this is just, I just send like, um this is like 12.30 uh, Singapore time. Okay, let's move to the next one. Uh, okay. Okay, I will move here. Okay, how to find multiple swing high or swing low? You can see from here, you drag until here. Okay, this is multiple swing um high resistance. 
Okay, after that, you can just draw the zone like this. Okay, so when the plies come, um, usually when the ply lifts um, those um, multi swing high or swing low, and then the ply will revert from that level. Okay. <clears throat> so now I'm going to talk about pullback uh, support and resistance. Okay, this is a pullback support. You can see that this one used to be um, resistant, resistant one, two, three touches, right? And then it broke off from here. Okay, and then we wait for um, the ply to come and then pull back from this um, support. Okay, this is an example. Okay, so when you want to find out very, very uh, significant, you can use uh, Fibonacci to draw. So this charge I'm um, taking from um, pull back support, which is this one. Okay, just now I show you guys, which is go. Okay, so we're gonna, um, <clears throat> you see, when you wait for the ply here, so usually pull back support it first time when the ply broke uh, resistant, we wait the ply to come to this area, right? And then wait the ply to pull back, okay? Okay, this how, okay, after you wait, and then you can see that it's bounced off very nicely, which is, um, XAU USD, which I just show you guys just now. Okay, for the next one is a pullback uh, resistance. Okay, pullback resistance is just very easy. So it's just opposite pullback support, which is um due to be support, support one, two, three, and then it's broke up, and then we wait for the ply to pull back, and then we're gonna like sell or chart from here. This is an example how you draw, okay, really nicely. From here to here and here. I'm going to show you guys. Which is. <clears throat> this is the one. Um, pullback resistance. Okay. So then you can get a better idea from here. Okay. From here. Okay. So from here you can see that. Um, I will remove Fibonacci. You can see that this one used to be support, right? Used to be support, and then it broke up. We wait for, uh, for the ply to pull back. And then you can combine with Fibonacci. You can draw from here to here, and then you can see that it lights up very nicely with 23.6%. So you can see that like, okay. And then you can see the ply is bound off from here. So this is called pullback resistance. Okay, Nikki, really nicely here. May I know how long will this action be? Um, it's gonna be one hour. <laughs> yes. Okay. You're welcome. Okay, so this is a pullback uh, resistance. Okay. Okay, which is this one, I show you guys pullback resistance. And you can see that in this picture, which I just took from the charge, if you draw Fibonacci, you can see 38.2 30, and then 50% uh, percent, uh, Fibo retracement, which is this is we call Fibo confluence, which is high chance, the ply will come to the zone and then we we'll reverse from here. Okay, do you use... <clears throat> I don't use Elliot Wave on my uh, trading strategies, but um, I think Desmond, he does. Yeah. So uh, my strategies, um, I use um, EMA uh, 100, 200, and then combine with support and resistance and Fibonacci. Yeah, but I don't use um, Elliot Wave. Okay. You're welcome. Okay, so this is the one that I just show you guys. Okay, so I'm going to show you overlap support and resistance. Okay, so this is you find overlap support. Okay, and then you can see on top and below it touches how it's going to look like. It's here. Okay, 
I will show you the light charge and then you can get a better idea from here. Let me know if you have question on like support and resistance or um, overlap resistance or overlap support. Uh, what is my... Okay, all here. Okay. All here you can see that this one, I will just cut from here. Okay. We, I'm gonna... Oh, <clears throat> I'm going to remove um, people. So usually I would draw my people from here. Uh, no, right. Okay. From here. This one is about 50%. You can see that it's lined up really nicely with 50% people. Uh, Nanchi, right? And then you can draw the zone from here. Okay. So when the price broke from here, from here, and then actually number two is due to be pullback uh, resistance, right? After pullback, it's come down and then when reward, it become another overlap resistance. What is different between support? resistance zone and support demand zone. <clears throat> okay, um, support and resistance, really easy. Okay, I'll move here. When you want to draw um, support or resistance, this is resistance, right? I will change to red color. Okay, maybe I just put here. And this is resistance, uh, support, okay? So I change to green. Uh, okay, so you can see w w why that resistance called overlap. Why that resistance called overlap? You mean this one overlap resistance? Overlap mean because this one used to be um, support, Right on your lab, you can see that this one used to be support, right? You can see here. After they broke the support, and then number two is we call pullback. Um, uh, no, no, not pullback. It's an overlap resistance. So, um, some people they might call um support or support become resistant, but here we use overlap resistance. So actually, it's the same. Overlap meaning that the ply is already broke and that it's become resistant. Broke the support here. You can see that it broke. Okay, another another term they might call um, support become resistant. But over here, we use overlap resistant. Yeah, actually the same meaning. So up to you guys. Okay, so I go back to the difference between support and resistance. Okay. You can find the resistance here, right? Which I tell you guys just now, you can draw here. Recently swing high, swing low. This is um resistance. You can put here uh, for resistance. This one could be second resistance, which is this is the uh, around this will be like overlap here. Okay, this is very nice level here. Okay. And this one, last time, you to be um, support, right? You can see that this used to be the support. And then because from this very big candle, it broke down and then this one become uh, resistant. So I will put first resistant here. Okay, and this one is too high. This is gonna be my second resistant. Okay. And this is going to be uh, my support, which is this one, which is multi swing low. Okay, one, two, three. Okay. 
and then you're asking me uh, supply and demand zone. Actually, supply and demand zone is similar to support and resistance, but it's just that when you trade with demand or supply zone, they just want to trade when you see really big, big candle like this. Okay, uh, this one we will draw less box. Okay, I don't know the price will come. So this is one of the um, supply zone. Okay, demand and supply, usually we will trade when it's fresh, meaning that when the price is come up to here, for the first time, we're gonna sell from here, okay? And also like if you want to um, trade with demand and supply, which is combined with uh, drop base drop. Okay, for example here, this is um, supply zone, okay. You can see that when the ply is come up here and then the ply will just um, reverse from this um, supply zone. What does it mean supply zone? This one it um, drop and then you can see the base here and then drop here. So when the ply is go up to this area, usually people who trade supply and demand, they're gonna sell from that level, okay? All right, so I'm gonna move to Overlap this system already. Okay, this is just now that I show you guys. You can see that I draw the FIBO, it's very light up with 61.8% and then 50% FIBO. So you draw the zone when the ply is come to this zone and then the ply view reverse very really nicely. Okay. And this is called overlap support. Okay, so overlap support is same like it used to be resistant. You can see over here, it broke up, it touches twice, and then it's called overlap support. Or others, other people, or some of you guys may call um support become, uh, resistant become support. Also okay. Some people may call um, um support flip or resistant flip. I think almost the same uh, uh, meaning. Okay, so this is how it works. You can see over here, this one used to be resistant, it broke, it came down one, and then we wait here, and then it's light up very nicely with 23.6%. Okay, here, it touched, and then the price reverse. Um, how it's gonna look like, which I will show you here. Okay. Okay, over here, for example, I'll move to head four. Okay. Go back here. Okay, first, how you identify support and resistance? You need to draw the line. I will tell you the uh, trick or like, you know, uh, the way, the, the, the faster or easy way for you to identify support resistance. If you know how to uh, utilize or the charge, like light charge, this is one of the best way for you guys to identify support and resistance. But then a uh, light charge, you know that they only use a body uh, street candle. So when you turn to candle streak, you might have to adjust to the wick or to the body. So it's up to you guys, bit level is a nice one. But over here, I will use the body, which is here, okay? So you draw um, the line. This one used to be uh, resistant. It broke up, become support, right? So I draw my uh, FIBO, okay? I will draw from here. Okay, I uh, know should be here. Sorry, from here to here. Okay, so with uh, 23 
0.6%. So you can see that that is a zone. So you just um, highlight like this, okay? And then you change to the green color for easy for you to identify. Okay, so this is the zone that I want to wait when the price come to this zone and I'm gonna buy from here. And you can see what happened, okay? It's bought off really nicely from here, okay? Okay. All right, so have you guys using um, um, Ich Ichimoku Cloud, anybody? Okay, you actually for the confluence in trading, you can combine with uh, Ichimoku as well, like how it works. For example, like in the picture, you can see that this we draw um, um, support and resistance, and you can see that the red line it used to be um, support, right? And then you can see when the price it came down, it's not expected, the, the support it broke up. And then you can see that the price is below Ichimoku cloud, meaning that the price is on a downtrend, okay? I will show you the, um, I will put indicator here. Okay. Okay. For example, like if you know how to use Ichimoku cloud in over here, another confluence when I use Ichimoku cloud, you can see that the ply is above Ichimoku cloud, meaning that the ply is on a downtrend. Okay. And another support, you can see that it's on the uptrend, sorry, uptrend. And then you can see that this is the trend line. Ascending trend line here, you can draw here. Okay, this is a confluence. So just now, GBP, um, I think I did send to Trader Club over here, right? You can see GBP um, over here. All right, you can see that the ply is bound off very nicely. Okay from our entry, okay? It's almost hitting our like TP, but it's on the way, okay? So this is another uh, benefit. If you have already have the account with Tickmail, you can just join uh, me and the team. So we're gonna answer any question if you have, okay? Um, let me go back, okay? You can see that, you can draw, and you can see the ply is broke came down really nicely. I'm still not a client of TickMill. I can see you're using trading mill at TickMill. Can we execute on trade using? Huh? Um, yes, okay. Um, okay, let me show you. Actually, we only use our trading view to um to analyze all the charts, right? So usually you can use that. If you want to join um the trader club, you have to open the account with the thick meal. I think uh, currently they don't have any um like uh, like uh, minimum uh uh the amount as long as long as you have the account with the thick meal, I think you can sign up with the um, join the trader club and then like this is gonna look like if you have any question you can just um, talk to me or my team and then sometimes if you find a very nice um, trade setup I'm gonna send to the um, to the room as well in over here yeah so if you guys from the trader club I think uh, it, Go and JPP USD we are already almost hitting the TP that take me allow to yes we do we do NASDAQ oh okay over here uh we do have so many here like you know um like in the club but um I'm not sure if that's allowed but I think that should have the NASDAQ because in over here we do send it be five a really nice trade a really nice setup for the NASDAQ we will send. Yeah, we do trade indices, um, gold, oil, uh, you know, those like um uh US five hundred, we, we we do have. 
yeah, Thinkmill spread is good too. Yes, because I also trade with Thinkmill account as well. Yeah, the spread is very good. And then I think uh, the, and, um, the support is very good as well. They quite are uh, responsive. Yeah, okay. So um, I think uh, for um, support and resistance, overlap, resistance, overlap, um, support, do you have any, what is the spread? Of the thing meal. Now I, I'm not sure, yeah, but I think you can check it out. How about Singapore contact number? Um, I'm not sure about that though. You might have to check on the website. What is more important support? What is more important support resistance and or clean line? Okay. You can use a plain line to um, find a confluence. For example, you can see that one confluence is that Ply is above Ichimoku cloud, is clean, right? And then when you want to find the entry over here, you draw the um, plain line here. Okay, I will just move here. You can see that one touch, two touch, and three touch. And then it's light up very nicely with 50% FIBO, uh, FIBO confluence, FIBO, uh, FIBO retracement here. So you can see that confluence is one, two, and then three. So we're gonna, we're gonna definitely gonna buy from here. Yeah, we, we should be already buy from that. So now we're just waiting for the price to hit our TP. Yeah. Do you, do you own research? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry guys, I, I, I don't know the spread for thick mail, but I know the spread is very tight. Yeah. All right, thank you. Okay, that's, that's good. How can I join this Discord channel? Um, I'm not sure, but if you can um, reach out to us, on the um trader club i think you and you can ask um the the desmond you can just maybe uh, ping him uh personally and then he he will answer you yeah what's about t for gbp gbp here okay okay if you know how to uh, use the um fibo right your first tp TP1, for example, you draw the FIBO. Okay, one already hit the TP at 23.6%, right? So this is already break off. Let's say if you want to hold to this one, the next one is going to be 38.2, which is around here. But then you, if you go to um, H1, Okay, you can see that people who um, trade um, supply or those like uh, supply demand, they might draw this zone, okay, like this. And then you see when the supply is reached, you can see that heavily uh, rejection over here. Okay, so the first TP, already he's at 23.6% um, FIBO retracement, okay, over here. And then the next TP, like I say, um, at 38.2%, which is um, almost this level, okay, next TP. So if you want to secure your profit, you can just put your, um, you just SL your profit. Okay, so when the price is reversed, right? You might earn something, but to me, I don't really like to hold my trade for so long. So when it hits my first TP, uh, which is at 23.6%, yeah, and then I just, you know, um, close my trade or it already hits my TP or I use a tailing stock or maybe I use, um, um, you know, SL my profit. Yeah, I then read it line to my TP2 with 38.2%. How do you decide? I call it TP, TP. How do you? 
in pullback. Mm. Uh, okay, like I say, um, usually the TP, I will use um, FIBO. First one is need to pass 23.6% first. Okay, and my TP usually is before listen, uh, listen swing high, which is if you look at head four. Okay, so this one, Okay, I just zoom in yeah, for you to have a look. Okay, this is the recent swing high, okay? So usually my TP, I will just put at here as the candlestick, not at the wick, okay? And then when you draw FIBO, because you, uh, to me, I just want to make sure that it's gonna uh, here's my TP, okay, this one, and then it's twenty three point six percent, so it's around here, right? So mine is already hit my uh TP. Usually, my first TP is always around twenty three point six percent, okay. If it break above, okay, my next TP is gonna be like the next uh swing high or swing low support or resistance. Okay, head four, for example, like I say, if you want to um, draw FIBO, the next one, 38.2, it's around this one, okay? This is going to be your uh, TP, which is already, you know, um, reject very really nicely and I have a long week here. If you want to zoom down or zoom in, okay, this is how I find my TP and my SL. Usually my SL is going to be, um, this is um, short, this is buy, right? So my SL is going to be here. Okay, below the wick. This is my stop loss, okay? This is my stop loss, which is in H1. You, if you want, you can just put here. This is your stop loss. Just before the listen swing low support, which is this one. You don't put like exact. To me, I just want to leave a loom a little bit. I will put down here. This is my stop loss. Uh, okay, usually uh, we trade currency pair or currency, we, we look at head four. And then if you want to find the entry, you can just go to M15 or M30 to see how is the price react, if there is any uh, pie uh, action or any confirmation, and then you can take the trade from there. Okay. Okay, I will zoom down for you to see um, M30. Okay, and if you zoom in to M30, you can see that um, the ply, this is should be very um, important area over here. Why? Because you can see that um, have rejection one, two, and then three, and then it's reverse. And then it confront with our 50% FIBO. Okay, and then the ply shoot up. UJ, okay. For the UJ, um, let me see. Let me remove first. Okay, for the UJ first, you need to pipe five support and resistance. Maybe sometime you can draw the tail line here. Okay, you can see that it's already this tail line and we'll put in the red here. Right, you can see that. This is head four. Okay. And this is gonna be my 
support. Okay. Okay, I think if you sail from here, your net take profit is going to be 23.6. Why I don't use um 38.6 here? I show you. Uh, like 38.2, sorry. Because we, I draw a feeble from this um swing high to this swing low. And then you can see that price is already blocked off the 38.2%. Price is react to 68.61.8% uh, here. Okay. Um, okay, here. And then it's um, combined with the trend line over here. I think people already sell. That's why the reason for you to sell, which is here, right? You can see that. When you draw the FIBO from here to here, and retrace at 61.8%, which is our golden zone. And then the price is um, reversed very really nicely from here. Okay, where are you gonna take profit? You zoom in, you draw. Okay, if you sell from here to here, first uh, target profit is already done, which is 38.2%, okay. The next one is, around 50%, which is this area, um, demand zone, okay? Demand zone here, I will draw from the this one to this week, and then I change to the uh, green box, okay? You zoom in to see H, um, H1, okay? In H1, you can see that it's light up with 50%, and then you can see that this is very, very big candle, which is this one, okay? So this is the area that you have. You, you might want to wait if the price come here, okay? But then you have to look at uh, head four, which is, this is, a, is the trend line over here, okay? So I think price, uh, you cannot use Ichimoku, okay? Let me draw. Oops. No, no trend line here. Yeah. So if you sell um this one, uh tag target profit already hit for this uh UJ. Okay. And then now the play is um bow up because you can see that this is um oh no this is the recent swing low okay you can see that when the price touches and then it bows up really nicely you can see okay here can you brief us more on each each Okay, sorry, I didn't see the question. Let me read. It's why I put 50% is meant. No, um, it's not so much, okay? It's not a much like 50%. The reason why I draw and I put 50% because when you see the Fibonacci here, we pay the retracement, right? You cannot do 20% because it's already been used. Okay. Um, I show you. Okay. Like we draw from here, okay, to here. And then it's already um break, it's already broke uh 23.6%. But so we don't use this level anymore. And then it's already almost touches the 23.38.2%. Okay, and then it's reward up. Okay, so this is the level you can consider. 
okay but 30 23 by 6 percent we don't use okay because it already broke is it's not valid anymore for 23.6 percent you can see that it broke up already come to here okay so the level for retracement you can use is 50 61 or 78.6 percent okay I can just show like this is the Uh, wait, let me uh, <laughs> read the question. Okay. And like this option should I use on a candy sugar shadow? Okay. Actually, you can use either uh, on a uh, candlestick or in a wig or shadow. For example, like it doesn't. Okay. Let me, let me show you. Or maybe go for example um i will show you like this when you want to draw support on this system right you just find you want to find a very nice level you can see that when you draw this one okay you can see that when it broke it almost touches the candlestick here okay Usually to me, I like to draw the zone like this. Okay, you can draw the zone like this. And you can see that when you draw the zone, it light up very nicely when the price touch this zone and then it's reward back. Okay, so sometimes you can draw using the wick or you can draw using the candle. It doesn't matter as long as you know how to draw the zone and then you can see that the price is like up really nicely like this okay and then if you know how to draw the FIBO to find the conference you can draw here to here and you can see that it lie up with 30 by 2 percent and 50 percent okay around this area I think last last week or two weeks ago the price is come this area and then we buy from this one to here okay UJ potential go for up 10 one is hit the TP. UJ, okay, go back to UJ again. But then, okay, hit four is downtrend, okay? Hit four is downtrend. Let me see. Okay, if you, I think it's going to be um, going down. Why? Because if you look at head four, this is the um, descending trend line, right? And then it's over here. I remove this trend line first. You can see that there is a divergence over here. Um, maybe here. Okay. Maybe I, if I just like, okay, use this one. You can see there is a divergence here. It's a barely divergent here in head four. Okay. So in order for the um, UJ to like uh, be an uptrend, I think it need to break above the descending trend line first, which is here. Okay. If you don't have the order to me, you have just um need to see the prime movement first. It's back above. We above here. We wait for the price to pull back. Uh, yeah. Okay. Let me. You back above, right? You just wait for the price to pull back here and then 
you're gonna buy from here like this area yeah so now if you don't have the order i think um we just wait and see how is the pie react okay trading you know doesn't need to be right to get in the trade so if you find a very nice uh setup and then you just uh go for it can you explain to the ishimoku cloud as well um ichimoku crowd usually i just use uh when like to find those like conference for example um for example like this one i saw that it's gonna be um reward from this one after hitting the descending trend line and then i want to see ichimoku but in this one ichimoku i'm not gonna use it because it not supports my analysis why here you can see that it's pride ah. okay pride is already um on the crowd here so i don't use ichimoku to support my analysis here i just use my trend line together with my um Fibo and support my support and resistance. Okay. So my god resistance. Okay. You can usually you can either you can draw from here. I can draw from here. Usually people who trade um head and shoulder, right? This one they might think this a uh, left shoulder, this a uh, head, and then this is another right shoulder, and then you're gonna short from here. Yeah. Is your trade you scale out or in in your trade? What do you mean? Or in or out? Sorry, I don't get it. You mean like I trade like a uh, full margin or or, or what? <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys, um, do you guys have any question for today? Let me know if you have any question. If there is no question, I'm going to end the section for today. Okay. <laughs> yep. Let me see. Okay, so if you trade one lot, you exit half. Huh? Ah, okay. Um, you mean like partial close the profits, right? It depends because sometimes if I see that the the play is uh going on my direction, if I have like conference, for example, like I have a conference with people supporting with my trend line, and then I saw the diversion in head four. Usually, when it's um reach my target profit either i close half or i remove my uh, sl for example like um i enter from like um for example go right okay wow well, go is like go up very really nicely for example like go i place the buy from this one okay from here let's say i buy okay so when you see my tp um, either I set my TP or I close half or I remove my SL here. For example, this is my uh, stop lot. Okay. I remove my stop lot to here. Okay. Because I see that there is potential apply uh, will go up higher. So I put my stop lot here uh, just to secure my profit. So let's say if the price reverse, I'm not going to lose anything. Yeah. Okay. Do you add layer if you do being buy? I okay because I trade or uh, go the most, so I will do layer if the play come in the zone. I do layer, so my lot size is gonna be um uh smaller. But I I do uh play a uh, many many trade, so I don't put like a uh, three lot, two lot. Yeah, I I will do layer if I trade go. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, all right, guys. 
thank you so much for um, joining me today. Um, I hope you guys have a um, good time with me, okay? And let me know if you have any questions. And I hope to see um, you guys again, maybe uh, next section for live trading, if that if like possible. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for being nice to me as well. Sorry, today is like my first time. I might be a bit nervous, okay? All right, guys. Thank you so much. Uh, have a good evening or uh, maybe good morning for you guys and see you guys again uh, maybe next section. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye. Uh, how to end? <laughs> Thank you. I'm finding how to end. Okay, it's here. Bye for now, guys. <laughs>